asked before, like, if, is there somebody you would do a, a, a follow up to Collision Course with? Like, mm. would you? Would it? What Ooh. if it was oh. you know so and so or so like Kendrick? Or, yeah, I don't um, know, man. Kendrick I don't know. Like I don't know what it would be. It's a it's a hard type of thing to follow up. You know, I feel like when we did it, the the thing about Collision Course is. Uh, to tell you a quick story about how it came together and and when my mentality in doing it. So MTV had reached out to Jay. They said, we want to do this mashup series. We want to do a show, like multiple episodes of different groups mashing stuff up. Will you guys be our first episode? And I said, we were like, yeah, yeah. And, and, um, so it, since it, Jay had already approved it and he, and they said, who do you want to do it with? And he said, Lincoln park, we were all set to, to do it. And he asked, if I if we would do it and then and the next the response came with mm -hmm. three songs I made I made three of the what ended up being the, the collision course EP I made three of the tracks and I sent them to him as my response and his and his response back was oh shit <laughs> <laughs> like he was he loved it it was all good but the the funny thing is as it went like they what MTV's thing was um, hey you guys go up and jam and like maybe do one mashup okay and we came with like a half an album worth of mashups. Yeah. And I was, because my thing was this. What they didn't know is that I learned how to produce by doing mashups. I had been doing mashups for easily five years, six years before they even asked us to do this thing. So they were asking somebody who's like, that's, yeah. that's my shit. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah. I was literally learning to make beats by, by, by taking samples of Nine Inch Nails and Smashing Pumpkins and Rage Against the Machine and putting Mob Deep over the top oh. of it in like a break beat. And I had this one. I had this one crazy one with like Wu Tang and like a Jackson Five sample uh -huh. and like a Nine Inch Nails distorted sample. It was the, the I did the weirdest stuff, and we loved it. I mean, that's what that's kind of how the band came about. So when they said, "Can you do this?" I was like, hey, "I can do this." <laughs> so I put the thing together and and we did it. And by the time we put it out, we were all saying to each other internally, which we didn't say to them we're going to make this thing something they can never follow up. They won't, not only will they not be able to do another like series of this, they yeah. won't be able to do a second episode of this. Damn. And, and, they, and we, Jay agreed to that? I mean, he <laughs> kind of, <laughs> he didn't, I don't think he was in that conversation, okay. but he knew. <laughs> he knew what <laughs> he knew. He knew what we were doing. Hey man, dude, I'm doing TRL again, man. I still need you to come by, all right? <laughs> all right. Uh, Absolutely. Okay, cool. Okay.